an example number three, Malachi chapter three, verse one, verse eight to 10. Do you know that not paying tight is a sin of ingratitude? It's a sin of what? Ingratitude. It's people that are not grateful that refuse to pay tight. Because God has given you 90% and he has kept 10% for himself. Instead of you focusing on the 90, what do people do? They go after, after the 10. Please rise one more time on your face and say, Father, help me to be contented. Don't let me destroy my life with this spirit of greed. Talk to God. This is not about Adam and Eve. This is about you. Give me the spirit of contentment, Lord. Don't let me destroy my destiny with ingratitude. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Number three, gratitude prevents anger, hatred, and sorrow. See, many of us we go in and out of anger. Anger. Hatred. You, you just dislike some people. You just hate them. And of course, where there is anger, there will be sorrow. Hello? Where there is anger, there will be, there will be sorrow. Anger is madness. But the Holy Spirit revealed to me part of the reason for anger is ingratitude. Because ingratitude will make you focus on the faults of people rather than on their strength. You see, whenever you are angry with your husband, do you know that the reason you are angry with that husband is because of his faults? You are focusing on what he's doing that is wrong. And is it possible that that man doesn't have anything good about him? Is it possible? Whenever you are angry with your wife, because you have chosen to focus on our faults and not on our strengths. Hear me very well. Whether you will live life with joy or you will live life in sorrow is a choice you make about gratitude or ingratitude. If you are grateful for the people in your life, in spite of their faults, you will enjoy life. 